So now I start panicking, bro, like heavy breathing, wondering, is it going to do the same thing when I get to Felipe train station? Is it not going to stop? And if it's not going to stop, then how the hell? So about nine years ago, I almost died. Like, no, for real. No clickbait, not trying to add any spice. I'm just being honest. About nine years ago, there were three incidents that could have resulted to my death. Nine years ago was like, what, 2013? Yeah, around this time I was um in the sixth grade, right? No, wait, 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 wait. 2010, 2011, 2012. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the fifth grade. And at this time, swimming pools were still kind of new to me. Now, don't don't get the wrong impression. I knew about swimming pools, but I only used to see it behind the screen. Like on TV, you feel me? But being in the vicinity of a pool was new to me due to living in a bad location. You know where them bad mans is. So it was on a Friday. I don't I don't remember what was going on that day, but it was a special day for some reason because we left school around 11 a.m. I know this why because on that day I remember going straight to Zanny's house. I had asked him if we could go, you know, to the pool. And as always, he was down. So we went to Felipe train station. Hopped on a train to meet his plane, and before you know it, we arrived. Got by the gate, paid our entrance fees, and you know how the rest goes. So when we were in the pool, Zanny was on some dumb shit as usual. Because there were these two girls that he was trying to impress. But what 12 year old boy has never attempted to impress the opposite sex? You feel me? You see a female, you get all excited, you get a little bit tingly on the bottom. So I kinda understood where my nigga Zanny was coming from. Ayo Z. How about we try taking a dive in the deep area? I don't know, dog. We you know we we're, we're not great swimmers, man. Like it's kinda dangerous, dog. Bro, 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 bro. Listen, 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 listen. I'm trying to show these girls. I ain't no coward, you feel me? If they see me doing dangerous shit, they finna fuck with your boy. I feel you, man, but listen. This is dangerous. We could die. I ain't about to risk my life for some cheeks. If I was meant to die, bro, then it's my time. I'm doing it. He wouldn't listen. So I let him go, and that was that. So we jumped in the deep area, and surprisingly... He was doing good. What did I tell you, bro? This is light work, my G. Like, I'm telling you. You see, you're missing out, bro. Like, are you okay? Yo, bro. Zanny. Yo. The fool was drowning. Oh, At this point, milk. my instincts took over, man. Like, I, I jumped in, you know, to save my friend. And, uh, bad decision. Like, bro, now I'm drowning. Like, we can't swim, like I said, but we were not that good back in the day. So now we have a problem, bro. Like, I'm drowning, man. I'm looking over to Zanny's face, but my nigga's drowning. Like, what the fuck is we going to do? The girls he was trying to impress is now laughing at us. Like, what the hell? Help us! This ain't no joke. Like, yo! At this point, I started believing in Jesus, bro. Like, hardcore. Because there is a God. And he fucks with your boy. So he sent a lifeguard our way. He took us out. And that was that. Oh, he needs no. some milk. It was embarrassing. So we left. Because we couldn't deal with the shame. So we went over to the train station over in Captain's Clip to wait for the train. The train was going to stay there for like 15 minutes. And then it was going to go back. The same way it came. And yet again, Zanny was on some dumb shit. God! This time, he got out of the train. And I was like, dude, what are you doing? Get back inside. Yo, chill, bro. Like, 
the train ain't leaving anytime soon. <gasps> this nigga was doing the most, fam. The doors closed. They closed. And guess where Zanny was? Outside, my nigga. He was outside. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Z man, I can't get in. What am I gonna do now, bro? What am I gonna do? Dumbass. Now what? And just like that, the train left. So now I'm on my way to Filippi, right? But before getting there, I had to go past two other train stations, Mitchell's Plain and Lindegir. The weirdest thing happened when I got to Mitchell's Plain, dog. The train didn't stop. Bruh. It just went right past the station. Now, part of me didn't pay this any mind, right? But it only became a problem when the train didn't stop in Lindegir too. So now I start panicking, bro, like heavy breathing. Wondering, is it gonna do the same thing when I get to Filippi train station? Is it not gonna stop? And if it's not gonna stop, then how the hell am I gonna get home? The thing is, I knew something was up with this train, bro. I knew it was not gonna stop at Filippi train station. So, I decided to do something about it. When it got to Filippi train station, I stood by one of the windows, bro. I was ready Jump. It was now or never, dog. I'm not gonna let this train take me. Hell no. And then I remembered, I could die if I jumped Bruh. off this train right now. I've seen many people die, Jesus bro. Is I was love. not ready to be one of them. So now that jumping was no longer an option, I had to do what a man's gotta do. <laughs> I was spazzing broski. I was begging every security guard I could see in every platform to please stop this train. If I was gonna die, then I was gonna die bro. But I couldn't take it anymore. When I got to Haderford train station, I jumped off the train. I hit the ground bro. But then, Haderford is also another shady area because where I landed I landed near to a bridge and under that bridge were these homeless people they just saw me jump off a train I'm injured I don't know where I am and yet I could still tell they wanted to rob me there was this one homeless man in particular though all of a sudden he got up and started heading my way and um i run and boy like i am not playing games here bro i am not about to get robbed by these niggas so i ran to the closest station and that was haterfeld so when i got there one of those ladies asked me whether or not i was that kid who was screaming for help in the train to which i replied yes so she told me to wait here a train heading to Filippi will arrive very shortly. And um, that was that. If you've made it this far, you may as well hit that like button, subscribe, and comment down below what you think of the video. Moral of the story, don't jump off no trains fam. Man, just be safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're from Congo, getting all these heroes. Straight from the jungle, the Congo, that's how Salim, my blood. Young Lumumba, Steve Eco, you know I will die for this. Shaking coming in your bitch, watch me turn it to a beast. Man, I'm beating through this shit, watch me 